Nationals hosting the Rangers. The Rangers are minus 205. The Nationals are plus 170 on the money line. The over-under is at 10 runs. The Rangers, laying a run and a half on the run line, are minus 130, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two. While the Nationals getting a run and a half on the run line are plus 110, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win, they lose by one, you win. Dunning pitched once against the Nationals last year. Six innings, one run, one earn. They lost that game 2-1. to one. In Texas, he struck out four. The Rangers have won his last four appearances. They are 7-3 and three in his last 10 appearances. He's averaging six innings pitched and 4.1 strikeouts per game in those games. Corbin did not pitch against the Rangers either last year or this year. The Nationals are 5-5 five and five in his last 10 appearances. He's averaging five and two-thirds innings pitched and 3.8 strikeouts per game in those games. Head-to-head, the road team is 7-3. The underdog is 6-4 on the money line. The underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is 7-3. There have been two one-run games in their last 10 meetings. The under is 7-3 in their last 10, and the under 10 specifically is 7-2-1. The game they played today, the Nationals won 8-3. The game they played yesterday, the Rangers won 7-2. The Rangers are 3-7 and seven in their last 10. The under is 5-4-1 and one in their last 10 games, and they are 1-3 and three in their last 4. There was a total of 6 runs, 16 runs, 9 runs, and 11 runs in their last 4. They scored 2 runs in a loss, 6 runs in a loss, 7 runs in a win, and then 3 runs in a loss. For the Nationals, they are 4-6 and six in their last 10. The under is 5-4-1 and one in their last 10 games, and they are 1-5 and five in their last 6. There was a total of 11 runs, 9 runs, 9 runs, and 11 runs. 2 runs and a loss, 4 runs and a loss, 2 runs and a loss, 8 runs and a win. Corbin has been screwing me lately because when I keep picking with him, I keep losing. But I am going to hedge because the last time that Dunning pitched against the Nationals, it was a one-run game. I'll take the Rangers with the money line, the Nationals getting the runs, and I'm going to go under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.